Welcome to another AWS Unorganized Agula, the Doug is chill. And today, you, we saw the build-up last week. We got the rematch between Kingpin and Ballin Joseph Stalin. I'm your host. I already said my name. But yeah, for those who missed it, at the Elimination Chamber, Ballin Joseph Stalin actually won the Fixin' title against from Kingpin. However, Kingpin is accusing Ballin of cheating and that the Communist Federation insulted the Mets before the match, thus it made him lose focus. So now he's issuing his rematch clause in a baseball stadium match where, where he'll be at a baseball stadium and the only available weapons are baseball bats. Stalin accepted, and now we have our very first championship rematch match. And man, this is going to be... The first time we've gotten, like, to, uh... Or no, it wouldn't be our first time at a baseball arena, but this is the new... This is a new baseball arena. One that, uh... Has a little more style to it. I mean, don't get me wrong. The old baseball arena was great. But this one, though, is really gonna defy a new generation of baseball. Just how we play baseball here. You know, you swing the bat, you get a home run, maybe a grand slam. All my baseball knowledge is from the Mario Slugger's Wii game. I, I apologize. Well, that teaches you a good amount, though, like outfielders and all that. You know, what the gloves are for as Kingpin showing off. These are two men whose goal is a championship, okay? So we're live in Tulsa, Oklahoma, with no faced man here. He was totally not a guy that was recently released, thus the 2K can't really show his face, but, uh, well, no, there's a little bit of face shot there. A little bit. As we see our first entry in the match, look at this huge baseball stadium. Really, a ever since Doug Dimmodome's taken over, he's been really great for really upping our budget. Though we did unfortunately lose a lot of fireworks. Not all of them, but we do have a lot less pyro than last season, unfortunately. As here comes the King Pen. This is his home turf here. Even though the say Tulsa, Oklahoma baseball and the Mets are in New York, so I guess if it was in the Mets arena it would give him a little too much power, so you know, we had to we had to keep it balanced. Because we were allowed a very packed crowd, like man, I wish all these people would watch us on YouTube. That'd be at least a several thousand views right there. Just look at all these people. Holy shit. There's a lot of baseball fans wanting to see Kingpin fight Ball and Joseph Stalin. This is like... I might need to go here more. It's honestly a really sick arena. Whoever made this arena in community creations, like, give yourself a good pat on the back. It's, holy shit, this is a cool-ass arena. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to play our... I'm going to play this... Arena after this match, honestly. Like, I'm, I'm just gonna straight up play WW 2K22 after after doing voice for this match. Why? Because I'm a fucking mark, apparently. But I do make fun of both WWE and AEW, though, so that balances me out as a human being. And at the same time, I enjoy both. As we see, the current Thixent champion, the first Thixent champion to actually be less. To actually qualify in the underweight, like, to actually be not thick. A man who is actually less than 205 pounds. Ballin Joseph Stalin. That was a hella cool shot. Yeah, this man broke all kinds of records. From shit champion to a champion that you actually want to hold. What a comeback. Like, if the Communist Federation has done one thing, it's that it's really benefited Ballin Stalin's career. Because I think before... I don't think he's even won a match before that uh, communist match. But now that he's here, though, he's kind of facing like a career rejuvenation. Will Kingpin put a stop to his momentum? Or will it still keep going? Also, I didn't realize how big the Thixent title was until it got put on someone who's the actual, like, weight it was intended for. Because it always looked so tiny on Kingpin. In Big Smoke and Ghostface. So now that it's actually on, like, a normal-sized human, it's like... The belt's actually really freaking huge. Holy shit. Anyway, yes, here it is. That beautiful scorpion title. Why? Because they made it small but vicious. 
which really which fits the theme of this, at least the intended theme of this spell. But if y'all want a little brief history lesson, the first Thixit match was all cruiserweights except for one opponent, Ghostface, who. At the time, I called him, I thought he was still the skinny guy Disco Bear fought, but then he ended up gaining like 300 pounds without me realizing it. So we had an unnaturally thick boy in this, in an all lightweights match. And then Ghostface also ended up winning the title and would only defend it against other big boys like Big Smoke. Then, Kingpin broke my 2K20 arena with Big Smoke to win it. So that's three, like, over 500-pound dudes who have won this title. Stalin is the only man who is less than 200 pounds, uh, who is less than 500 pounds to hold this belt. What a weird friggin' history this title has, man. Will it remain the big boy's title, or will it finally become a lightweight title? It's just, look at all this colors of this arena here. It's Kingpin hits him with an immediate Batista bomb. That is not usually a first move of a match, but Kingpin, he's, he really wants that title back, man. He wants that Thixent Championship so we can give the Mets another child. And, of course, boost up his career. Especially as a cross-brand man, because the Thixent title is officially a cross-brand title. So if you hold that belt, you are officially you can officially be a cross-brand wrestler. Meaning you can be on both Unlimited and Chaos, as well as Unorganized and Unbounded. Like, you can be in any show you want. That's the beauty of these mixed uh, brand titles. Same also goes for the uh, Dark Match title, and I believe the title say. Let me check the AWS wiki real quick. This Kingpin stomps on Stalin's arm. That's a lot of weight on that arm, man. Like... All install might have a broken arm after this match, man. I, 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 I got, I got, I got, I got forward with you there. That, that does not feel pretty. That really does not feel pretty. Let's see here. Yeah, cross brand titles. We have the Thixen title, the motorcycle, and the dark match championship, as well as the ship belt. Those are our four. Can be Kingpin sliding to the bases. He gets to the second base. He's going to the third base. Oh, home run. I, I know there's four bases, but he kind of skipped two of them, so it's close enough to a home run. I, I, but, uh, yeah. Oh, what's Kingpin got planned for? God, just throwing Stalin like he's a baseball. Man. Two more times and you might strike out. You never know. Boy, Stalin, though, he's getting some life back at him. The real David and Goliath kind of match here is he went for those knees, but Kingpin, he remembers from the chamber match. He, he, he is a man set on revenge against Ball and Joseph Stalin. A, oh, oh, he's going for the... Oh, God, the... Commu knee... St <laughs> See, like, used the bottom of his knee. Anyway, that move was not enough to put out Kingpin, which, uh... Oh! Oh god, here it is! The ball and Stalin elbow! There is no kicking out of this move, guys. There is no kicking out. Ball and... Ooh! God, what a maneuver! A! Two! Oh, but Kingpin, he... Oh, wait a minute. Stalin got, like, a bug in his eye, so he had to get off to get the bug off. Oh, if that bug didn't fly into Stalin's eye... He, he, he would have won the match. <laughs> I'm totally not saying that because if I were to insult Joseph Stalin, a Captain Communist who hit me with a sar bomb through a table. <laughs> uh, totally unrelated notice side, though, of Stalin strangling the tumor. Kingpin's not having it. He slides under him like he slides to a base. Look, here we go. Oh, let's get him over his shoulder. And Stalin, is he out of here? Oh, God, he just slammed his face on the turnbuckle. Also, guys, you know, this is an extreme rule, so, like, you can grab a baseball bat. I mean, I know it's our only weapon available in this match, but, you know, you gotta keep up with the theme, man. It's like the shovels match between Tucker and Cody. It's been a very back-and-forth match between these two. Surprisingly evenly matched, especially for Stalin, who used to be a jobber. 
And keep pins out of here. What a home run Irish with the stall. He's got him out of the oh, they, oh, they're fighting on the grass. They're fighting on the grass. Freshly grown. Oh, DDT onto the grass. I think that's the first time I've seen anybody get DDT'd onto plants. I could be wrong, but I, I think this is the only time. Real back and forth, dude. They're both wearing a jersey, too. I just realized that the Stalins wore a basketball. Or it might be a baseball. I don't know, actually. What kind of jersey is she? McMahon shirt. You know, I'll look at Wait, A, 2. Oh, my God. Keep pin kicking out the last microsecond. That was that was extreme. That was a Kurt Angle like pin escape right there. It's like very dramatic too. Very dramatic. This is very. This is some very theatrical competitors. Oi! Keep pin lifting up Stone going for an Alabama slamma. Such a fun sentence to say, Alabama slamma. He drags Stalin. What can he go? Oh, God. This is the move that kills Spooderman. Oh! And Captain Communist. What's Captain Communist doing out here? Is, is he here to make sure a ball on Stalin is alive? Oh! He, Captain Communist trying to interfere, but he got hit with the invisible baseball bat. And now he's going to get it. Oh, God. Both the Communists are down as Kingpin stands tall. But Kingpin, you need to get in the ring and pin Stalin. But well, he's too distracted by Captain Communist. Kingpin, you could have won the match there. What are you doing? I guess he wants to really make sure the Communist can't get back up in order to interfere. I think focusing on him too much might have been a mistake as he gets tackled by Captain Kami. Well, Kami leaves. Feels he's done enough damage. Oh! The Captain Communist may have underestimated as Kingpin is now back on his feet. Like... I, no disrespect to the Communist Federation, but I think uh, Stalin might have been done for there. Captain of the Communists did not interfere. I could be wrong, but I mean, it's hard to kick out of that punch. I mean, that's the move that even got Barnacle Boy out of action. Like, we haven't seen Barnacle Boy since 2K18 because of that move. So, take that as you will. Take that as you will. As, oh my god, another hammer punch by Kingpin. But he's not done with Stalin yet. He wants to break his leg. He really wants revenge against Joseph Stalin for taking the Thixit title from him. Is this enough? Did he snap the leg? No, he did not. Stalin would not have been able to kick out if his leg was... No. If his leg was broken, he would not have kicked out. Oh, God, what a, what a fun punch that was. By the Kingpin. Oh, Stalin punch him back. Where was Kingpin in the steps? The disrespect. Well, not really disrespects anything that's legal in this match. But, oh god, now he's working on Kingpin's leg. He can't make up. He can't run to the bases if his legs are hurt. God, what a man! These two really don't want each other to walk. Like, hey, somebody's gonna end up in a wheelchair by the end of this night. <laughs> who will be? Who knows? Probably whoever doesn't win the match. That's my guess, at least, on... Only time will tell. I'm not a genie. I'm the flying ch Oh, God! That, like... Kind of like the... Bling Blang, but not. It's, Kingpin was able to kick out. It appears that... The move is usually done to the head, but due to Kingpin's weird-ass anatomy, he had to do it to the tumor. But the tumor is a lot more resistant than the head, so, like... Kingpin kind of has an advantage here. What's Kingpin going for here? Some kind of power bomb! Sky him across the ring! Oh god! Just power bombs him out of the arena and does a quick ass slide to follow it. That might be it. Hey, what? Immediately kick it. How did Stalin do that? Did Kingpin take too much time to. No, he slid out pretty quickly. I, I don't know how Stalin kicked out of that. That was. Honestly, kind of impressive. Not gonna lie. That, that was impressive. Just came to throw Stalin in the stairs. Like, he's probably thinking, what do I have to do to take care of this communist midget? What will it take? Stalin fights back. God, like, this is such an even match. I do not know who 
It's been a while since I, like, got footage of this, so I legit don't know who wins this. It's been, like, it's a very competitive match. Probably one of the most evenly matched things I've ever seen, which is really surprising with these two. Because you would think that, like, Kingpin would squash him, but... Now Stalin has really proven himself. Like, if AWS did rewards, Stalin could be a contender for most improved. So like I said, this is a man that used to be a jobber until now. Now he's kind of getting that Jinder Mahal run as he... Oh, just taking off the baseball table, really showing disrespect to the sport. And Kingpin is not having it, man. You do not disrespect baseball. What heelish tactics by Joseph Stalin, trying to take advantage of Kingpin's anger. Because that's what cost him the chamber was, like, getting angry about the Mets being insulted. Oh, he signed the tumor. Kingpin's bleeding. Now he's just, pun just punching him. Or he's, like, clotheslining him constantly. Oh, it's got a whispering neck breaker right there, I guess. Tumor breaker in this case, because Kingpin doesn't only... Oh, I think he's going for the, uh, the Buta Mother Russia. This is the move that caused him to win the chamber. Oh, God, right on the tumor. He's been really working that all match. The tumor might have taken too much damage. As yeah, it did. As Stalin retains the title, ending his feud with Kingpin. Man, that was, like, that was some crazy back and forth, man. Some, some real psychology going into this match right here. Me and saw an outside ball and elbow at one point. Captain Communist interfered. It's like, Kingpin may have had the size, but I think Stalin just had the wits. And he was, and like, I thought the tumor would do less damage, but it seems that like working out the whole match actually came out to benefit Stalin at the end, because... Oh, as you can see here, he's still the uh, Thixit champion. So, you know what? As much as I don't care for his Communist Federation stealing all my food, uh, I will give them this. They know how to fight. It's been Philip, the Fine Chillip, and uh, thank you, Ralph Walker, for giving our match an instant classic.